It's time for the final game between SKMC and Liquid Jinro. The map will be played on Ohana, so Ben, I'd say no time to waste. Ohana means family. You've said that like around four times this week. <laughs> I think every single person who watches this stream... It's from Lilo and Stitch, right? I have that no idea. That movie was so cute. Ah, Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, yeah I haven't alien. watched it, but I know. The little girl's like, Ohana means family. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, I no, know. No, I know I like this story <laughs> so much more. I hated it before because he always tells me one of these Spanish words he picked up. It's not Spanish. No, it's Hawaiian. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Jinro is, of course, a oh, yellow Terran yeah. on the bottom right. side of the map. And SKMC spawns on the left -up side of the map. So what I want to go, where I want to go with that is that Ben worked in construction for a year or two, building houses. And literally every single day, he brings up one of the cool Spanish words that he picked up that, during that his time. That is not what I... That's not that even that close to true. I, that I is know like 18 Spanish words. Yeah, but you're really proud of them. And every time, <laughs> we, every time we order a drink, if she even looks, looks remotely close to Mexican... No, wait, I'm going to change. Even if she only looks like a little bit non-American, he opens in Spanish. Like that's... That is <laughs> such a lie. That is so that true. Is such a lie. You can have a British accent and then Ben will open in Spanish. That's how <laughs> proud he is of the few words he knows in Spanish. So that's why I didn't like this Ohana story. You are painting me to be something that I'm not. Okay, man. Well, that's what you do with me all the time, <laughs> sharing stories about me and Ukrainian woman. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a true story. <laughs> no, that did not happen. <laughs> I broke. What are the what are the Russian letters called? Cyrillic, I think. Yeah, Cyrillic. Okay, so I woke up with a Cyrillic message on the bathroom mirror, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" I was so confused. Written in pink lipstick, by the way. <laughs> Bright, like fluorescent pink lipstick. Who wears fluorescent pink lipstick? <laughs> you know who does. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> gateway. Uh, next is first for MC, followed up by a gateway, which is interesting, by the way, guys, because we saw a hero do this and we saw Hawk do this as well. Next is first on this map. However, they went forge before gate, and MC doesn't feel like he needs the forge and just goes gate straight away. Uh, yep. So. We'll see if uh, maybe Jinro decides to try and punish oh. this in some way. I love this, He's by the way, Jinro. No gas fast spent. And that means three games, three different openings from Jinro. I'm loving it, man. Cool stuff. Grand Center is going down in the back of his main base. We just saw that as Jinro does get a nice scout of MC's base. Sees uh, exactly what's happening. So we will see a macro game. And this time it's both players with a, with a super aggressive macro opening. Does that make sense? Super aggressive macro mm -hmm. opening? Yeah. yeah, they're macroing aggressively. Yes. We can work with that. They are. We can say that. MC uh, so far spent all his Chrome Boost on the Nexus, but now the first Chrome Boost will go down on the Zealot. Perhaps he's a little bit worried. Of course, he uh, doesn't know what's going on. I like it that Terrence like uh, wall off so quick. Even if you have nothing to hide, there's always something to hide. Sure. Yeah. That's a good point, right? Denying, uh, denying intelligence. Double gas follow-up for Jinro, which could, could possibly lead us into the kind of delayed Banshee play that we were talking about in the last game. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool strat. Uh, I like it uh, as well. It's just a uh, big economy and high aggression, both at both at once. Uh, if it, if if not a few minutes later than you might normally expect, and uh, yep, factory goes down for Jinro. So I'm actually starting to think that could be what we're going to see. I think you're uh, spot on. Oh, Jinro, not paying attention to the single SCP. He's going to lose that to the Zealot, but no biggie. Uh, that could happen. Even though it would have been better if he left a Marine behind. Yes, sir. And uh, mm, this is interesting, by the way, Ben. This is something that I haven't seen a lot of players do anymore. Sir, straight away, transferring quite a few SCVs. While research has proven that the most economic way to do it is just to leave 16 SCVs and these mineral patches and then rally from this co uh, command center to your natural. That actually gives you the most mining time mm -hmm. overall. So I'm surprised to see Genero straight away transfer quite a few of the SCVs. Genero is an old score Brood War player. And, you know, mainering your workers in Brood War was, I mean, it's just a mainstay of, of you know, good players. It's, I guess what I'm trying to say is old habits die hard, Kev. Okay. And, uh, and, and yet, as, as you've pointed out in the past, even if it getting the most money in the er er opening minutes is, uh, even if you get the most money by doing it the way you described, you still mine out your main a little bit faster. That so there's, there's, there's also merit to transferring those workers. MC is following this up with three more gates and a robotics facility, so we're going to have a four-gate robo opening out of him. 
of course, what is going to be crucial right now, guys, if Liquid General is actually going for the Cloak Banshee uh, follow-up, as we thought, and it seems like it because he has a ton of gas, and he's most likely going to fire Cloak up straight away, exactly what he does. If MC only makes one Observer and then goes into a Mortal, because he's a little bit paranoid, and all he has seen is this, which could be a 1-1-1 one -on -one fake, so do you really want to open Double Observer? That's always a choice that you have to make as Protoss. And he rallies that uh, Observer across the map, does not spot the Banshee, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to lose yeah. a lot of probes. Yeah, uh, it's something that we've seen before. It basically, the build exploits the fact yeah, that, that that one Observer uh, is, is all Protoss has in terms of detection, uh, which could also be another reason that we're seeing these weird Forge Cannon openings out of Protoss players, now that I think about it. Yeah, um, but it's, that's just a good opening against the Gasless Terran. And that's because yeah. one gate, uh, fast event with one gas is still worse than a no gas fast expand build for Terran. Like that gives Terran an economic lead. So if you don't want to fall behind uh, economically ever, that's when you want to go uh, for something like a Nexus first, then Protoss is ahead. But look how good MC is. Yeah. Uh, in spite of the possibility of a 1 1 1, he does go double observer. So he's going to be. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that he controls the Sun and Cell Naga Watchtower. That uh, if this would have been a one on one, he would have probably seen at least a little bit of movement already. Because if you play one on one, you want to hide it for as long as possible. So maybe MC, uh, General would have tried to uh, hide that. Uh, uh, General would try to prevent it, make it not that easy for MC. Cloak is ready, but the second observer is pretty close. Pretty close. It's in the front of the natural, so uh, General will kill a handful of probes, but not more than that. Oh, don't focus the stalker, General. Uh, are more stalkers being warped in up on on that high ground, and uh, MC is very very prepared for this Banshee harass, and uh, he's going to take minimal amounts of damage. He's lost a grand total of four probes. One of them was out on the map, so yeah. he's happy with that. 51 probes to 36 SCVs, good position to be in if you're SKMC. Interesting follow-up by uh, General, by the way, a uh, Raven, General who was supply block but uh, calls down for his supply depot straight away. It's very nice. Make sure that Terran players uh, around the world never get supply block. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a good. Uh, it's a. It's a very good skill. Toy have. Yes. Calling down supply. X, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, Generous combat shields is just now starting. Wow, he MC hasn't begun stim yet. MC is going heavy macro mode. Yeah, he really. Fast third. Uh, fast third nexus makes sense as he's made so many probes already. He's already up to 51 probes. He's also getting colossi out. How many out. observers we have on the map right now? We have three observers. One in the main. One in the. One right outside Jinro. No, that's a. What is this? Look at this guy. What is he doing? He's cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't walk <laughs> down. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would it be if he had like two machine guns? He's <laughs> 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 <Just> like, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Jinro comes out and says, uh, uh what? <laughs> and he's like, oh, shoot. Bad plan. Bad <laughs> abort mission. <laughs> they told me I could be anything <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> I just wanted to be an observer. <laughs> Stalker dies, but the immortal lives on. At no. least until he runs into the Banshee. This, is, this so guy has had unfair. a terrible day. <laughs> he had a terrible life. This is so screwed up. <laughs> they give me plasma cannons, yeah. and they don't let me shoot up. <laughs> Man, that's a horrible day to be an immortal. I hope I come back as a DT. <laughs> I hope I come back as a pro. They've got it good, man. <laughs> <laughs> they sit behind a wall, protected by the big boys. <laughs> uh, a little bit, obviously, a, a mistake there by MC. Um, no, 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 it was part that, of the uh, That robot was rallied there for the observer and never changed. That immortal was definitely holding it down. What if, like, a marauder had come out first? Yeah. Just gets obliterated. <laughs> Like three marauders without steam all die. They're just like going out for a smoke break when mm -hmm. it goes to pee behind a tree and there's an immortal standing there. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> Do you know, however, he's moving out with a pretty terrifying army band, certainly because MC has invested so much into his economy, uh, being up to three bases. Okay. He has a Colossi. ton of gates. Yeah, Colossus are the big key. However, if he sieges up in a great position, he has to siege up uh, soon, though. Tanks do finish sieging up. Banshees yeah, are cloaked, cloak, but there's a Raven there. Yes, that's what Wait. I love as well. How many observers do we have left? We have two observers left right now. Where was are they? defense drone used? No, it wasn't. Oh my gosh, this is a terrifying push. It was. Uh, it's really all about the Colossi, like we've been saying. Point defense drone goes down. Banshee's going to focus on the Colossus. Uh, tanks are seized up, doing a pretty good job against these Stalkers. Jinro's mic on okay, but MC's just got a little bit more. So nice focus fire by MC yeah. as well. However, these Banshees are having the time of their life. Yeah, they kill all Where the are the observers, General? Maybe they've been killed? Uh, no, they still, still have two alive. Two. Yeah, one is in the back of the third. Oh, he has one over here. Look at these Banshees, man. Two Banshees in the third, two Banshees in the natural. General, multi-pronged Banshee harass on the back of that little push. Cloak is about to run out, though. And General, yeah, but the whole army is like, MC's got all of his stuff on one hotkey. 
And look at this Colossus. Colossus exposed in the main base, Kevin. Banshee's gonna fly right in. Will oh. they be able to kill him in time? Man, you scared that he, he, he freaked the hell out of me. Sorry. I was like, what's gonna happen, man? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he just walks away. <laughs> Nuke is gonna land on these stand gates. And yeah, I'm missing it. A lot of probes it. are gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. Is, uh, wow, MC is really not doing, probe kills. not doing this effectively. Still no, uh, no blink as well. Makes it, of course, a little bit harder. I mean, that fight went pretty damn good for MC, but the aftermath was definitely in General's advantage. Why does General only have 35 SCVs? Yeah, I kind of wonder about that too. He brought quite a few SCVs with his push, but... He lost seven, but he just hasn't been building that. I mean, I guess he's worrying or counting on that mule. Maybe we can call this a two-base all-in. Terran version. Look at this. Look at the Colossus bear! Oh my god, he's <laughs> taking lots of shield damage! That's how you did that to me, man. Well, I thought he was gonna die, man. He was all by himself, he was uncovered. Dude, I, I was, was excited. <laughs> it was an exciting moment. It wasn't. There was like it was! There were like eight. It was just as exciting as the Immortal. <laughs> no, the Immortal was cool. <laughs> These talks should be careful. Look at this, it's so close to tank range. And the oh, we MC. MC is really um, sloppy. Yeah, really sloppy here, making some serious control blunders. No, look at the Colossus! This, this time we can get pumped up because he takes no. so much damage from our shot! No! Oh, Yo! Goes down. Sick! Favorite moment of the day! <laughs> <laughs> Again! Man, that was cool! Oh man. She like pulled the ejector, like ejector seat, yeah. throws the grenade. <laughs> no, handgun. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my parachute, but I have my Uzi. <laughs> That's so cool. However, <laughs> however, 34 SCVs remaining for Jinro. And they're still uh, pretty terrifying MC Protoss army. 38 probes and is still 18 ahead. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's terrifying too. And sick, man. Take a look at the unit counter tab, man. 15 Zealots, 19 uh, Stalkers. However, no charge overlink. But however. Still, that's scary. However, however, Jinro has forgotten these Marines. Which one? Right here. No, what are they doing? They're searching Immortals. <laughs> they're <laughs> waiting for them to be misrallied again. This is like a Walk of Three map. There are Immortals you can creep. This is l l th like this map is so nice. It's like these guys it are just is. chilling out at the beach. This is like a better Belgian beach. Waiting for them to put up a volleyball net. <laughs> so you guys, being a Marine is pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's not, not a bad life. <laughs> We're not they've doing like, anything. They've like defected trade. from the army. We quit, man. This job sucks. These benches, however, are uh, making over hours. They OT, are. man. OT doesn't pay. That's what these benches say. Yeah. That rhymes. Sick rhyme. <laughs> Jinder not really doing much to advance his position. He's just content to contain MC right now. Yeah, this MC is a weird contain, man. He's like, yeah. he's like, all right, I'm mining out my two bases, but I'll contain you with three. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I mean, that's exactly what it is, though. Yeah. Uh, more Banshee's going to fly in and pick off a couple more probes, maybe even... Jinder has killed so many probes this game. Yeah, a ton. Nine. But MC's economy is still booming, man. Yeah, He's and now Charge is ready, and Charge is such a crucial update, uh, upgrade Especially against his against army. Tanks. Yeah, against tanks and marines. It's beautiful, man. Yeah. Wow! The Artosis Pilot of the Artosis Pilots! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Ultimate Artosis Pilot. <laughs> How many gates does he power? Um, probably only like four, because there is a pylon to the left and above. But I still. think five. What if he like unpowered the Nexus? That'd be funny. No, not yeah. feeling that joke. No, sorry, man. Uh, a little bit of zealot harass down here in the natural expansion. Oh, meanwhile, uh, General's moving on sieging, and that's the same mode as MC's they coming in. Charge lots, and they get on top of those tanks right as the tanks finish sieging. General's army is going to melt away. The Vikings doing well. an okay job against the Colossi tanks. Still being pretty That's going actually Those pretty good for Jinro. Surprisingly, if he only had some more Marauders, he could have cleaned out all these stalkers. But he's now left with just Marines. Jinro does not have much time, Kev. Like Army supply. Jinro is ahead, man. 68 against 52. How sick would this be? Oh, my God. Siege. He is marching forward. Tanks do siege up on time. Zell is going to get on top of it once again, but they die quickly with those stem Marines. Vikings being forced to land. <laughs> it's just Stalkers against Vikings and Marines. Uh. And just not quite enough. The Zealous did such a good job. Reinforcements are coming in for General. He's stimming as well. He's going to have to make it happen right now if something is ever going to happen. And Marines continue to push forward. Man, you missed the most epic Marauder drop of all time. That one matter of fact was flying in. Actually, MC is going to pull pros for a final time, but I think he is going to be fine. The bio units of General, yeah, so low finally HP. Finally melting away. General does tap out. Good game. Man, that was exciting. MC takes it. It's exciting conclusion to that... Uh, 
interesting match. So we've got a picture of MC here. Yes. No, we had it on the other one as well. Oh, General it's General's missing photo picture. that we're missing. All right. I got you. Select so would say good I stuff, gotcha. man. Good stuff. No, good he stuff. would be like, good stuff, man. Hey, you probably. I think he would say son. Good stuff, son. Yeah, maybe. Good stuff, son. Yeah, nice reaction in Barcraft. We can see Andre and Dan's face. Wow. They are not pretty in close-up. No, <laughs> <laughs> this is not the best lighting for them. Is that is that what the Asian glow looks like? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, man. They seem to have so much fun. I'm a little bit yeah. jelly. Good stuff. Good stuff in Irvine. So, uh, claps all around. I can't wait to be there next Sunday. We will be there next Sunday with the Sin versus Todd show match. Uh, I want all you guys that are there today yeah. come back out. Seriously, next Sunday is really the, the day you really have to be there. If you came out today, that's cool. If you miss out next Sunday, you're really not that cool. Yeah, pretty much. You're pretty uncool. Actually. Yeah. What is a what is a Barcraft show match without people at the Barcraft? Yes. So y'all better and be there. And Todd is there. Todd is still one of my favorite like people Todd. of esports all time, man. Todd's actually, he's really misunderstood. You know, he's actually super nice. People always think that Todd is arrogant. He's not. He's super nice. And he's actually one of those guys that always try to help others as much as he's looking out for himself, which I really, really appreciate.